YouTube, what is up? It is the anonymous sneakerhead, the most mysterious sneaker YouTuber in the game. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and share the video. The goal is to hit 500 subscribers by May 15th, so I could do a pretty big giveaway. I'm really excited for coming up, but that won't happen if we get to 500 by May 15th. That's when I'm supposed to graduate. Speaking of graduation, um, this quarantine situation is crazy. I had to, obviously, you can see I'm in a different place. I had to unpack all of all, everything from my dorm room. I'm still trying to figure out how to get everything together. Um, I actually just ordered a set of six um, more drop front cases because I got a bunch of shoes I got to get there. I think I need, um, I did the math. I think I needed a total of 15. So I still need nine more drop front cases, but everything's crazy right now with this, um, this quarantine, this coronavirus. Everybody stay inside and stay safe. That was a really long intro. Um, now, let's get into this video right here. Um, so, if you guys have been paying attention, uh, I think the last review video I did was those UNC 3s. If you guys have been paying attention this entire year, um, because one thing that uh, people in the sneaker community were talking about, especially in 2019, was that sneaker YouTubers top 20s or top 10, sorry, top 10 pickups every year are a little suspicious sometimes. Like, these aren't shoes that they really like, that they really rock with. So just to make sure, just so y'all can make sure that I'm keeping it 100 with y'all, completely 100, I have been keeping a live top 10 of the sneakers I've been picking up this year. Now, in most of my review videos, most of my review videos are a little longer. I'm up around the 10 minute mark and the, the top live top 10 doesn't usually come until around six or seven minutes. So I realized that a lot of you haven't even made it that far. So what I'm gonna do in this video, I'm just gonna show y'all the live top 10 because this is something that I'm doing that no other sneaker YouTuber in the game is doing right now. So here is my live top 10 so far of the sneakers that I've picked up. As of right now, it's only been five. It's a lot of time for me to go out and pick up a lot more sneakers by the end of the year i think i know already know my next three or four pickups but i'll keep that on the low and now that that's out the way man i'm gonna just show y'all my top 10. all right so as you guys can see i have 10 through 6 on this page and then on the next page i have 5 through 1. obviously i only have five pickups so you're only going to see this page right now but let's get into it so my first pickup of the year was the black cat fours one of my all-time favorite um jordan 4 colorways so that's obviously making the list and right now it's in a number 10 and then it moved down really easy with my next pickup being the wash denim 6 now i know this was a 2019 release but i personally picked it up in 2020 um it's a shoe that i worn a couple times i actually like it um more than you would think i would you know what i'm saying this is a shoe that got a lot of down talk i guess over the last year and into this year but for me it's a good shoe to add to the collection i'm happy to have it so right now is gonna sit at the number 10 spot. So, moving on, Black Hat 4 moves up again to the eight spot, and then my next pickup I got, actually at the same time I got the Denim 6, was the Air Max 90 in the Volt colorway. Really, really, really dope colorway. One of the best colorways of the Air Max 90 that I've seen, period. Um, and the quality on it that they're doing with, obviously it being the 30th anniversary of the Air Max 90, is 10 out of 10, great quality. Even the presentation with the box was fire. I ended up switching out black laces for it, just felt like it darkened the shoe up a little bit, really like how, how it looks. But definitely one of my favorite pickups. Might even end up somewhere in the top five this year, who knows. But then, coming in at the next spot, once again, Black Cat 4 moves up to the seventh spot, and I got the Air Max 1 Inside Out, another 2019 release. The Inside Out Air Max 1 in the in the Phantom Gray colorway, or the Platinum colorway, I forgot what it was called. Um, anyways, really, really, really dope shoe. A shoe I got on Godap that I put a bid in that I actually forgot about. Ended up winning my bid, got it for $100. One of my um, favorite Air Max 1s in my collection. Maybe maybe my second favorite Air Max 1 behind the Have a Nike Day Air Max 1. Um, real, obviously, Air Max 1 fits really comfortable, but I really like the aesthetic of it being inside out, especially on the tongue, how they have the size tag on the outside and the exposed foam on the tongue. Really, really dope shoe. And it has the Nike Air backwards on the back, which is fire. Um, really dope shoe. And I've worn it a lot, like a lot, because um, it's really easy to wear, as you can see, with it being gray. So one of my favorite shoes definitely deserves to be at the eight spot for right now. Now, coming in next, we got the Black Hat 4 moving up to the six spot. We got the Inside Out Air Max 1 moving up to the 7 spot and the Volt 90 moving up to the 8 spot. And then sliding in right here at number 9, we have the UNC3. Now, why is the UNC3 so what I guess you would say low on this list? Part of the reason is it's going to, first of all, with the Black Hat 4, going to be really hard to beat the Black Hat 4 to me. 
Um, but I love Air Maxes. Air Max 1 is my single favorite. Um, Nike silhouette out of all Jordans or PEs or player sneakers, everything. Air Max 1 is my favorite silhouette. The Air Max 90 was a really dope shoe. And the UNC 3, I don't like white uppers on 3s that much. And it is a shoe that I was getting to resell. So these are all of my pickups for the year 2020 so far. And you guys can see on um, the order right now, Black Hat Force in at the one spot. Um, the Inside Out 1 at the 2 spot, Air Max 90 Volt in the 3 spot, UNC 3 in the 4 spot, and the Denim 6 in the 5 spot. Now, this is where everything was at the end of my last video, if you guys watched my last pickup video when I did review the UNC 3s. Now, since then, a couple of things have changed. Some shoes grew on me, and for some reason, a couple of things in this list has changed. So, what I'm going to do is move the UNC 3s behind the denim sixes to the number 10 spot number my fifth pickup of the year why is that is because both of the unc three threes that i picked up i picked up to sell so i mean i'm probably gonna get most likely i'll get more than 10 shoes in the year 2020 but if i don't the shoes that i don't have anymore that i've sold can't be on this list so as of right now it's on the 10 spot as i get 10 shoes it'll probably be phased out because i just don't own it anymore which moves the wash denim up to the number four spot. Doesn't mean that I necessarily think the wash denim six is a better shoe. It's just I still have it and I sold the UNC three. And then one more switch after a while, you know what I mean? When I picked up that inside out Air Max one, like I said, I'm really biased to Air Max one, so I really liked it. Um, but after just letting it sink in more, the the Air Max 90 in the Volt colorway is just is just beautiful and it has to move up to my second pickup of the year the number seven spot overall right now and moving that air max one into the eighth spot so this is it right here as of march 25th 2020 these are my top 10 sneaker pickups of 2020 or i guess you could say my top five sneaker pickups of 2020 so far i'm gonna just click ahead so we can see the next page i have five through one right here obviously those will fill up as time passes two shoes that i think have a good shot of ending up here the black hat fours are almost definitely end up here and then the volt air max 90s have a good chance of ending up in my top five but that is it for my live top 10 man no other sneaker youtuber in the game is doing this now let's get back into the video all right, man, so y'all can see that was my live top 10 for the year. Really simple video. Just wanted to get that out for y'all so you could really see um, what I've been talking about. If you heard me mention live top 10, I'm keeping it going this year. Every single time I do a pickup, I'm adding the shoe to the live top 10 where I want it to be. So that is it for this video, man. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get to 500 by May 15th. Also, do not forget to follow my Instagram at AnonymousSneakerhead, and I will see you guys at the next video.